welcome back to my channel. So first off, I wanna give you y'all lots of love. Um, thank you so much for making me feel good about the perm that I got. Um, it's been two weeks since I've gotten my perm and it's, I've had a lot of time to get used to it, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, how I style it, how I don't style it, you know, um, if I use a diffuser, if I, you know, stuff like that, what products. So um, when I got a perm, I didn't like it right off the bat because I've been, um, you know, several people just completely hated it. And so it made my self-esteem just like, you know, plummet. I didn't feel very good about myself. But then y'all were giving me lots of love and then I went to church and people were liking it. And so I wanted to figure out what I can do to make myself feel better. And I figured out what it was that I wasn't liking. It was the curls that were framing my face. And, um, and if I air dried it, when I got out of the shower, I would take the towel and I would squeeze out the water out of my hair. Okay, and I wouldn't just take the towel and back and forth, you know, like I usually did with straight hair. So, um, so I kind of squeezed it, the water out of my hair and then I would let it air dry. So when I air dry it, um, and I even put this product in, this product, which is supposed to be like anti-frizz. And um, so anyways, I would, put that product in, spray it, and then let it air dry. And my hair was super frizzy and the curls around my face. And for some reason, right around here, I don't know why, but this gets super frizzy, froey around my ears. It's like earmuffs and I can't stand it. So it was just driving me nuts. And what I did was, um, so I did a whole day with just, you know, air dry and I didn't like my hair. Yes, the curls stayed in real nice. And, um, but the frizz, it was just, I hated it, even with the product in my hair. So then of course I did the next day. And um, what I did is the same routine, uh, got out of the shower, took the, um, the towel, uh, squeezed out the water um, and, what I did is I flipped my hair upside down in the back end where it's thicker back here, I would use the diffuser. And um, and I know the diffuser, if I use that, I'm gonna get super volume, right? So I just did the back end where it's harder to get um, that moist, uh, the moisture, moist area to dry. The wet area in the back of my hair would be moist, it'd be harder to dry, just air dry, so I helped it out with the diffuser. Then I flipped my hair back and um, and then the curls kind of settled. So I would just take the diffuser and go like this in certain spots so that it, it wouldn't be voluptuous curls. It would just be settled curls, okay? So that's what I did. And um, same around the face. So what I did is because I didn't like the curls around the frame of my face, I would take this um, um, iron this uh, flat iron it's really tiny it's like the size of my finger it's for pixie cuts and I would um, just straighten a little bit around um, the frame of my face and I started to really like that and it made me feel more comfortable wearing my curls and um, and you can tell um, it's straight around here now don't get all you know all up in my business but I did use a relaxer on my hair it says not to but i did um and so i did a little section right here uh and um i did it for seven minutes and i was like really nervous because on the box it says do not use on permanent wave hair which is a perm and so i did and i was so scared that it was my hair was gonna fall out so i did seven minutes it says to do 10 to 20 minutes but i did seven and so I, I washed it out, I rinsed it out, washed it with that soap that I'm supposed to. It turns pink um, to let you know that there's chemical in it. Then it starts to get lighter uh, and then to white foam um, so that you know that, um, or the, you know, when you lather it up, it turns white. And that means that the chemical is out. 
And so um, you can tell uh, around my face, it's still wavy around my face. You can tell right here how wavy it is. So the it's not as curly as these curls, but it's still wavy, which I like. I like the frame um, around my face now. I feel a lot more comfortable. The curls are still looking pretty freaking good um, in the back of my hair. So loving that. So now I don't have to use this um, straightener anymore. I use the relaxer. And so all I do in the morning now is same routine. I get up, use a diffuser in the back, um, up top. And then I even use a diffuser um, for my bangs, but because the relaxer straightened out my hair, it's now just wavy and I'm perfectly fine with that. So now I just put a little bobby pin in to clip my bangs back. Um, and I just go on throughout my day. So um, I still use this product in my hair. Oops. I use this product in my hair so um, the frizz is maintained somewhat, which it, it is. Um, you can see, you know, little spriggies here and there, but nothing, you know, big deal. I just spray that down with some hairspray. And so, um, y'all, I'm actually loving this look. Like, I really, really am glad that I use the relaxer just on the frame of my face and kept the curls in the back and my husband agrees he really really likes the curls around my head and the frame of my face is like wavy enough not too straight but wavy enough that i'm super comfortable and it looks so much better than super curl it around the frame of my face because that was making me uncomfortable y'all i didn't like it and no matter what i did it, it just, I didn't feel good about it. So anyways, I did the relaxer on the perm. Um, no, my hair did not fall out, but I was reading um, and researching why they say not to use that relaxer on perms. Okay, if you are on a regular basis getting a perm, that's a lot of damage over the years on your hair. And I have like virgin hair. I've never dyed my hair. I don't put product in my hair. I don't blow dry my hair. So my hair is super, super healthy to begin with. So that's why I took the chance on um, waiting the two weeks and then putting the relaxer in because I knew my hair was solid. It's a solid, healthy hair, but that's as far as I'm gonna go. Um, I know a lot of y'all want me to get that highlight and I'm so, Super, super excited to get it. I just am not gonna get it right now. So I know y'all are gonna be totally poo-pooing on me on that, but I'm going to wait on it, okay? Um, I'm probably gonna wait um, next time I if when the curls start fading out. Before I get a perm, I'm going to um, wait get the highlighters in but i'm not gonna get blonde highlights i'm actually gonna get silver because i really like the salt and pepper look um and you know i don't want to be ridiculous in my 40s and trying to do the youthful look i'm gonna embrace the gray i'm i don't have any gray and my my sister's older than i am and she doesn't have gray in her hair so i'm gonna wait a while for the highlight um maybe a year i want to see how i adjust with this and then i will do a follow-up video but i'm not going to do it anytime soon with the highlights again i love the idea i'm i'm totally for it just not right now my husband's not really wanting another big drastic step with my hair and um and i did talk to my stylist and um a friend of mine um, in Hollowell. And she said to wait a little bit, um, think about how I feel about this. And if I want to play around with um, temporary highlights, do that instead of permanent highlights. So I might actually do a video on that if I do want to do um, temporary ones, like little washout ones, um, instead of like the permanent highlights. So I'll, I'll see if I like the temporary one, I'm gonna so go for the permanent one. So anyways, y'all, 
thank you so much for all the love that you've given me and I am super excited about this relaxer that I put in my hair. I think it frames my face really well and I still get the curls and I still get the comfortable um, feeling of it being, the curls being relaxed around my face and uh, my husband loves it, so loves it and it's so easy to maintain. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted easy maintenance. I wanted um, volume. I wanted style. And here in about a year, I might get some highlights. So I will follow up on a video with that. But I'm just letting y'all know, much love. And thank you so much for coming with me on this journey. I'm excited to hear about other people's perms and stuff. So thank you so much y'all and hope you have a wonderful holiday season.